So whatever, high lunge or warrior one, you want square hips, square shoulders, okay? And you want to align your front knee, if it's possible, with your ankle. So in your case, I, I'm going to make a little bit shorter this version just for, yes. Let's think about alignment here and how you feel also, okay? Feel your knee align with your ankle, work with the middle line, support in there, spread your toes, beautiful. And it's quite similar with the work we did in the chair and block. So square your hips, so bring your sit bone towards your other ankle. Yes, you got it, <laughs> exactly that. And then your knee tend to open again, so work with your muscles, mus muscular energy there. Beautiful. So I'd rather work with this variation for knee uh, issues and postural corrections. If you want to go deeper in the, in the challenge, if you can, we can go in the next level for what you want. But keep yourself here for five breaths at least. And if you feel you can go deeper, then you place your back heel down as you're doing what you want. Yeah. So then the hips open. So now let's place your both hands over your front thigh. No, thigh. Just there. And keep your heel down there. Very good. Lean your torso forward. Feel your torso and back leg align like you are. You're doing perfectly. Ground your feet. Again, middle line, spread toes, everything. Very good. And here, because you're leaning forward, you can em emphasize a little bit of more of the alignment in the hips. But if you lose your heel, so back, yeah, modify. Always. Great. Alignment here, you can do heel with heel or arch and heel, or sometimes even wider, depending how your body is. Now, instead of lifting your body, let's raise life force. So connect your feet, legs to your pelvic floor, pelvic muscle, and lift your pelvic muscle, and then feel your pelvic muscles raise and lifting your body. Very good. Now, raise your arms as well. Face forward, yes. Even if this class is not about shoulders, but as you move your extremities, always creating rotation. The rotation are created by the deep muscles in your joints. Let's activate the deep muscles. You connect with deeper, deep meridians. Very good. Inhale, make your front leg straight. And exhale, forward bend. Not, not your knee, keep your knee straight. Your torso, forward bend yourself, very good. Going again to hamstrings, and if you have hyperextension, again, micro bend, do all that work, that good work, very good. Is an asymmetric posture, shape of your body, but you're looking for to create the most symmet symmetry in the asymmetric posture. The result of that, you gain symmetry, playing with asymmetric postures. Square your hips, lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders, very good. Awake your feet, awake your pelvic muscle, Very good. Micro bend your knee. Very good. Then come up slowly. Bend your knee. Great. And let's turn to the other side. Same thing. High lunge. Start with your high lunge. Yeah. Place your hands to your hips. Square your hips. Yeah. Bend your front knee a little bit more if you can to align with your ankle. Great. Very good. Work here. So we are opening hip flexor in high lunge with the back leg. And we are open the rotators of the hips in the other side. Creating alignment to correct the knee position. So bend your front knee. Yes. And then you open more hip flexor there. And then warrior one, place your 
keep your arms down, place your back heel down first. Yeah, so let's make a little bit shorter. Yeah, so as you do that, you're able to now turn your left hip forward. So bring your, yes. So create that spiral, that muscular energy. So explore the rotation. Very good. Place your hands over your front thigh. Lean forward your torso. Align your torso and back leg. So you can emphasize a little bit more the square. Great. So now connect your feet, middle line, legs. Connect your pelvic muscle and start to raise your torso using the center. Yeah, come up and connect center. Raise your arms. Rotate your shoulders. Drop your shoulders to your back pocket. Very good. So if this is too hard for you, just repeat high lunge. And then make your front leg straight, inhale and forward bend your torso down. Yeah, you can always modify if you need the wide of your legs, focusing square hips, in the spine. Yeah. Try always when you do those transitions, avoiding impact, so like bend a little bit your knee, do the transition gracefully, slowly as possible, avoiding is harm to your body. And then bend your knee and come up slowly. Very good. So slowly come up and then passing through goddess and then come up to the center very good good transition <laughs>